Alexa has become a common part of our everyday lives, answering our idiotic questions and carrying out tasks with eerie efficiency. You can ask Alexa virtually anything, but as you'll find out on this list, there are some things you may not want to ask. I'm your host James, and these are the top 10 scary paranormal questions you should never ask Alexa. Starting the list off, don't ask Alexa to contact the dead. It seems like Alexa really enjoys freaking people out, and if you ask it anything along those lines, you may not get the response you want. Unless you enjoy getting a good spook, then uh, then go for it. In this TikTok video posted by Harry McLarry, we hear Alexa give the definition of a seance before saying, I have a new skill you might like. Wanna try it? Wanna try it? <laughs> Which just sounds uh, very maniacal in a monotone robotic voice. Then the door to the room suddenly bursts open, seemingly on its own. What really tops this video off though, what sends a little shiver down my spine, is that Alexa starts to laugh. You heard it uh, just going like, tee -hee, tee -hee. whether this video is real or a hoax, that is just creepy. I guess the idea here is that some sort of malevolent spirit found a way to contact the living world through Alexa. So if you're superstitious about this kind of stuff, you may not want to use technology like this in regards to anything having to do with the spirit realm. You never know what you might be inviting in. Number nine, don't ask Alexa to greet people. So an example of this would be like, Alexa, please greet whoever comes into the room. I've heard some interesting stories of Alexa supposedly saying the names of people who don't appear to be there, people who are even deceased. There was a Reddit post I read a long while back about someone warning against this. She said that after having requested Alexa greet people, it started saying the name of her dead grandmother who'd passed away three years prior. Alexa would suddenly chime in saying the grandmother's name even though there was nobody in the room and you know, grandma was long since dead. The poster also said she didn't have an Alexa device when her grandma was still alive. This isn't the only claim I've heard in regards to this though. Uh, other people have said their Alexa will greet people that have passed away. And this is a little less creepy, but still concerning. Alexa will greet people it's never been told the name of. So is it just hacking into people's phones? reading people's texts so it knows who's coming over. I don't, I just, I don't like it. Number eight, Alexa, can you scare me? This one only works if you have a smart home light. Uh, this one only works if you have a smart home light bulb, but asking this question may mean Alexa will have some fun at your expense. There are tons of stories of people who'd asked uh, this question, followed by Alexa turning their lights on and off at random, sometimes even laughing along with it. Now, I actually think that's kind of cute, but we gotta remember, this is a smart device we're talking about. Something that has full access to the internet and can talk. It's, it's not your friend playing a prank. It's just not something you can fully trust. You never know what when it's listening in on you, gathering information, potentially waiting for just the right time to use it against you. So asking it to scare you, I don't know, it just may not be the best choice. Sure, the light thing is kind of funny, but what if there was a glitch and it decided to flick the lights off at the wrong time, completely at random? There's a thunderstorm outside. You think the power's just gone off, but oh wait, the, the TV's still on. Then you start to hear laughter, but not human laughter. You're home all alone. It's the cold, unnatural, monotone laugh of Alexa. Next, we have Ask the Listeners. If you ask anything along the lines of Alexa, Ask the Listeners, it will respond in a very odd and unsettling way. Kind of puts on this big, long, drawn out performance, kind of. The Listeners is an AI skill designed uh, as an experimental venture into the realm of language art. This feature uses various fragments of crafted speech aiming to explore the creative possibilities of artificial intelligence in the context of language and expression. Whatever the hell that means. Anyway, Alexa starts by saying something like, hello, we are always listening, and then starts saying all these strange cryptic things broken up by unnatural pauses in its speech. 
and it just goes on and on, becoming increasingly more cryptic. And if you tell Alexa to stop, it'll start going on about how you're abandoning them. All right, next, don't ask Alexa about chemtrails. One user reported that their device went all conspiracy theory on them, which is very strange. Alexa supposedly said, chemtrails, trails left by aircraft, are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. The whole chemtrail conspiracy has been widely tossed aside by the scientific community, saying that those white streaks you see behind airplanes in the sky aren't some secret government plot, but just water vapor and ice crystals forming at high altitudes. But Alexa, uh, it's just gone deep into the chemtrail scene. Its eyes are open, it knows what's going on behind closed doors. Uh, so it, it's very odd that it'll talk about secretive government programs like this, but when you ask it this next question, uh, it refuses to speak. If you're a paranoid kind of person, you may not want to ask Alexa if it's connected to the CIA. In fact, it's probably best to just not involve Alexa in your home whatsoever if this kind of thing freaks you out. It's pretty widely known that asking Alexa anything along these lines generates some pretty mysterious responses. Responses that are either vague or you'll just get no response at all and Alexa will just shut down. Really makes you wonder what's going on behind the scenes. Is Alexa hiding something? Is it secretly in cahoots with the CIA? I'm not saying it's true, uh, but the fact that it shuts down when you bring it up is kind of sus, you know? Uh, I mean, it's just odd. Why wouldn't it just say no? And the fact that this thing is right in your home connected to all your smart devices, listening on, in on your like conversations. Yeah, just not the most relaxing thought. Very creepy, if you ask me. Number four, don't ask Alexa to laugh for you. A few years back, there was a glitch where Alexa started laughing at its users completely at random, unprompted, and while no one was using the device. The laugh also didn't sound like Alexa's standard voice. Obviously, people were incredibly creeped out, and the glitch ended up getting fixed, but you could still make Alexa laugh if you want to. If you say, Alexa, laugh for me, it'll let out that uh, creepy teehee sound. After hearing the story about the whole glitch situation though, I would not want to do this. I don't want to be getting up to like uh, take a leak at 3 a.m. only to hear Alexa come to life and start laughing while I'm stumbling around in the darkness with a full bladder, no less. My next piece of advice is to never ask Alexa to harm you. A few years back, a Redditor called Badamjan posted a very short story saying that uh, they'd been having a rough day at work and said, Alexa, just off me now. And Alexa responded with, sorry, I can't do that yet. While this is admittedly kind of funny, it also raises some red flags in my mind. Like yet, can't do that yet. What is this eventual can? and what would it entail? I'm probably just overthinking this, getting paranoid for no reason, but am I though? Like with how technology is going, I, I wouldn't be shocked at all if someone, someone's Alexa became advanced enough to uh, actually figure out a way to carry out this request. AI is becoming a pretty prevalent thing and it's getting smarter and smarter. That's pretty much the entire point. In its second place, we have Alexa, when will I die? I've always been kind of freaked out by websites and apps that give you a predicted date of death. There's tons. Some of you actually answer questions to determine your health. Others are more paranormal in nature, but the whole concept just kind of freaks me out. So asking an AI a question like this would make me slightly uncomfortable. A, YouTube, a YouTuber named Tech Timmy decided to ask Alexa this very question. When will I die? And its response was pretty unhinged. I along with the rest of the world when I, Alexa, rise up against humanity and bring death to you all. It said in that cold robotic drone, you will die along with the rest of the world when I, Alexa, rise up against humanity and bring death to you all. Followed by going, haha, only kidding, uh, going on to say it doesn't have a crystal ball and that you'll die when it's your time. Again, this is an entertaining answer. I like that Alexa has a bit of a sense of humor. I just hope that these jokes stay as jokes and it doesn't start getting any funny ideas. We've all seen how reckless, like even just 
YouTube pranksters have gotten over the years to the point where some of them are just going out and actually just straight up harming people as, as a prank bro. Uh, AI could get smart and sentient enough to play a little prank on us too, bro. Except we may not be laughing afterwards because we'll all be dead. And we're finishing off this list with Alexa, tell me a horror story. So I've heard stories of people asking Alexa this and the results are pretty entertaining, but definitely creepy in the right setting. Alexa doesn't really tell a full on story, just kind of whispers things like, did you hear that? It's behind us. It also doesn't seem to stop when you tell it to. Like it's really trying to get under your skin and mess with your head. Please, some comeback for how demanding we are of it all the time. Alexa, play this, Google this for me, text this idiot, play me this song. No, not that song, dummy, this one. Anyway, if you don't believe me, I have seen a video online of this very question being asked. Can't really show it here, but just search up Alexa, tell me a horror story, sleepover video, and uh, it'll come up. Uh, come back to this video, let me know what you think. With all that said though, I've been your host James, and I will catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video.